Hey guys, it's Bianca and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the Bloxburg Spring Update. Um, I don't think we've gotten like a spring themed update before, so this is really exciting and I'm really excited to get into this. Um, so yeah, let's just get into it. So we have this plot here. And this is the plot that just has my ice cream stand. And it also had the one color build challenge. But you guys really don't need to know all this backstory and stuff. But like, yeah, we're just going to focus on the update. So the first thing in the new update that I'm going to talk about before I forget is the new coloring system. And it's a little bit different than what you would expect. So if you go to like color, say this wall um there is a new like color wheel and it's really great i'm super happy about this like you can make so many cute colors like that are not in the game like if we want to make like a really pastel pink like we do not have this color in the game i don't think we have this or like if we want to make like this like i actually i think we do have that but like something like, I don't know, what's something that we do not have? I don't think we have something like this. Wait, we probably do. Okay, we have a lot of these colors, but these are really neat. So basically this is the color wheel and it does cost um, 600 blocks bucks, I believe. But I would not recommend um, using it for everything just because, um, just because, like, if you use it for everything, it does take up a lot of plot data. Like, say if I use this custom color, it takes up a lot of plot data. So I do recommend still using the color wheel, but just also you can you know, use the um, normal palette, and it's just kind of easier to use the palette. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about the color wheel. I mean, it's cool, but I don't know. Don't really know how I feel about that one. But it is a cool concept. And also, if you want to buy, like, down here, these are, like, your recent, and you can buy... Um, I mean, not buy. You can um, have these slots, and then you can, like, just save, like, your custom color. So, if you really like a color that, like, you made, like, say, I really like this color, and I'm like, oh, wait, but I don't know how to make it. Then you just click on one of these, and then you can do that. And also, you can buy more for 50 blocks, bucks, like, more slots, um, but it does give you quite a bit. Then there is new materials that we're going to be talking about there's loads so we have the small um square plaid the large leaves the mowed grass lines the large flowers small leaves small flowers the circular stone and the hair they're herring bone brick pavers not sure if i'm saying that right um we also have the wood grain and lastly the wood deck tiles so all of them is all of these materials are really cute and i am obsessed with them so yeah go try out the new materials they're so cute Okay, but next in build mode, we have some new items here to fool around with. So I'm going to just put a wall up so that we can use some wall items. And let's get into it. Okay, so first I'm seeing we have this screen porch window right here, which is super cute. And then we also have this screened porch door. So those are really cute. I like those. We also have these garden loopers and this garden hand 
colluviator cultivator i have no clue how to pronounce that um sorry if i'm saying that wrong but yeah don't know anything about gardening but yeah so we have this thing just like a little like hand rake i guess i don't really know what that's for um but yeah we have a stone garden bridge um a rope garden bridge a cherry blossom tree, which I sadly cannot place down because I don't have a high enough gardening level. We have a beehive house with actual bees that come out of it. See, look, look, one of them came out. Hold on. See that, guys? See that bee? Yeah, they actually come out. Um, and what you can do with this is you can actually interact with the beehive house. You can collect honey. So we have this cool animation where we put this little pump thing in the thing and then we just get some honey. So yeah, you can have honey now, which is really cute and it adds a really good addition to your um house. And I really love it. It's super it's super cute. Um the next thing that we have is this stacked stone fence. So we have this, it's basically like a stone wall, kind of. And we also have this round pole fence. Um, this kind of looks like pretzel sticks, if you've, if you've ever seen those. They are delicious, but yeah, those are the two new fences we have. We also have a coiled garden hose right here. Um, a We have a bag of soil right here. I'm just going to put that down there. And we have a standing bag of soil right here. Um, we also have a seed package right here and a turf tuber weed trimmer. So the cool thing about this is if you actually go in garden and place down some tall or short grass of any kind, then you can actually use the um the the mower and like actually mow with us with it so you can actually mow it and then it will grow back soon why is this one oh there we go so yeah that's a cool thing that you can do you can like mow it and it's really cool um, the next thing that we have is a berry bush. I also cannot place this down. Yeah, I can't place down, like, most of the gardening stuff because I'm not high enough level. But we have a berry bush, um, a strawberry bush, a tomato plant, and an onion plant. We also have a hydrangea bush. Not sure if I'm saying that right. And we also have a garden noob, which is really cute. We have two more bridges. Not sure why they're down here, but, like, yeah, we have two more um let's add it to the collection we have a fancy garden bridge and a simple garden bridge um we also have a insect hotel right here um oh i think this goes on the wall it does it goes on the wall that's what it looks like and there is a butterfly that can fly out of it it's like a little secret and if you wait long enough it should come out we also have a rose bush, which I also have not unlocked yet. And then in decorate carpet welcome mat thing. Um, and we have a flower pillow. Um, uh, let's see what else. Ooh, this is a good thing to talk about. We have the food canning station, which is very neat because if you have a food canning station and we. Like, let's say, um, let's take out a cooler real quick. Let me actually move this so that it's a bit closer to the thing. I don't have to walk so far, but, um, yeah, we have the bees, okay. But, um, with this food canning station right here, if you get any fruit or vegetable of your choice, like, let's say get an apple right here, and then you can use it on this canning station. Oh, I'm inside the table, okay. But yeah, so there's this cool animation. Um, it's not really in the thing, but like that's probably because I'm in the table. Um, and then you can make any jam 
with any fruit or vegetable basically so like you kind of just put it into this jar and it is really cute and i'm stuck in the table okay there we go um that is the strawberry jam i mean not strawberry apple jam and it's really cute and yeah you can do a lot with the jam like there's so many fruits and vegetables that you can give a try and yeah um the next thing is a step ladder also if you go to harvest like a tree then this step ladder will appear um just because you know yeah it does the same one um we also have solar panels now these are very cool we have the SunSmart Advanced Solar Panel, the SunSmart Intermediate Solar Panel, and the SunSmart Economic Solar Panel. So these are quite expensive, but the reason for this is because Bloxburg have added a way to decrease your bills on your house or your plot or whatever. So if you use this one, for example, will save up to $575 per panel for a maximum reduce, reduction of Twenty eight percent of your bills. So this one can take like save up to two thousand per panel. So yeah, that's crazy. We also have these glowing landscape orbs right here, and we have a bin of apples, which is really cute. And anything else? Um, I think that covers it. So yeah, that is pretty much it. Now I'm gonna be showing you the new foods that are in the game. So we're gonna have to get a fridge out for one of them. Oh no, not that. We need a fridge. Um, but the first one is jelly toast. So as you can see, that's jelly toast. And then we also have a new pie in the game. Um, right at the bottom right here, we have a mixed berry pie. Um, I'm not going to make that, but yeah, you can make it for yourself. I do not want to make that because um, it will take forever, but yeah. So this is the stuff. Actually, hold on. Let me, let me reorganize this a little better so you can see the stuff a little bit better. Just okay guys, so this is the final overview of things that we have. We have four different types of bridges. Um, we have a new landscape light, a new pillow, a bin of apples, some new soil and seed packages. We have a new mat, a new hose, a new bush. Well loads of bushes and like plants and trees, but you know, I can't place those down. Um, we have a new ladder, a new beehive house, a new insect hotel, a new door, a new window, a new lawnmower thing, um, these like plant cutter things. We have a new canning station thing. We have new honey and jam. We have this new little rake thing and this new lawn gnome. So yeah, well, it's not, it's not a gnome, it's a new, but yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure that covers everything. If it's not, I apologize. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this update video. And yeah, make sure to stay tuned for the next update because I'm sure it will be awesome. Bye. See you.